Hello all, I am Disha Shukla and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about the GSM call setup. Now what does this mean? Let's say subscriber A wants to call to the subscriber B. So what actually happens when a subscriber calls to another subscriber is what is GSM call setup. And that is what we are going to see here. So what actually happens is if you have uh, seen the architecture of GSM. Now this is the architecture of a GSM wherein you have a subscriber A. A subscriber A that is connected to its BTS. Now BTS is a base transceiver station that is the towers that you have. Now further this BTS is connected to its BSC. BSC is the base uh, station controller that is a controller that will be controlling all the BTSs over here. Further the BTS is connected to the MSC and the MSC is again connected to the MSC of the other user that is this one and this MSC again has a BSC under it and then it has a BTS under it and the B, uh, subscriber B will be under this BTS. Again all the uh, services that the, M uh, that, this, uh, pro the, that the GSM provides like the VMS, the prepaid, the Telenor, PST and the Mobilink etc. will be connected to the MSC and the HLR and the VLR, HLR, VLR, AUC etc. will be also connected to the uh, MSC. So what happens next? So whenever a subscriber initiates a call, its call will be transferred from the BTS to the BSC like this. Now what is a BSC and what or what does it actually do? So the call request reaches the BSC from the BTS and is now going to be forwarded to the MSC. After the call is established, the BC, uh, BSC will perform the decoding of the call. So this is the first step wherein the subscriber would initiate its call via a BTS that is the base transceiver station or the tower in our general language. From the BTS the uh, call will be further uh, forwarded to the BSC that is the base station controller and it checks two different things. It checks whether the call request has, uh, that reaches the BSC from the BTS is forwarded to the MSC that is the first functionality of it. And the next thing that it does is that after the call is established, the BSC will perform the decoding of the call. Okay, moving further from the BSC, your call will be uh, further transferred to the MSC. Now, what does actu MSC actually do? So, MSC here is the mobile switching center. So, what does MSC do is it checks the number A and it also checks to whom is A calling that is which is the another number to which the user is calling. For example, subscriber A also, uh, it also checks whether the subscriber has a prepaid account or a postpaid number. So based on that different services will be called. So this is the third thing. So the MSC, what does MSC do is it checks the user that that is calling. It checks the user to whom the user is calling. That is it will be checking A and B in our case. And the another, the third thing that it will be checking is whether the subscriber A has a prepaid number or not. Okay, moving further from uh, because the subscriber A over here has a prepaid number, so it will again the call will be further forwarded to the prepaid node. So what is a prepaid node? So here the prepaid node would check whether the subscriber A has money left on his on his or her account. That is if you are using a prepaid service, it is necessary that you have uh, some amount in your uh, in your account. So what does prepaid node do is it will check whether the subscriber A in our case is having the money left in his or her account. Now when the call is established and it's ongoing the subscriber's account is decremented accordingly. This is the functionality of the prepaid node. Again prepaid node does two things that is it checks whether the subscriber A that is the calling uh, subscriber has amount left in his account or not. And if he has an account uh, amount left and the call is uh, ongoing then the other thing that it does is it will be decrementing the amount accordingly. So these are the functionalities of the prepaid node. Okay moving further from the prepaid node it got the data for A. So it will again be passed to the MSC. Now what does MSC do is uh, here the MSC will be checking the location of B that is the subscriber B is connected to which BSC and further to which MSC. So it will be checking where is the subscriber B. 
again msa will be interrogating in the hlr that is the home location register now the two things that are very important over here is what is a home location register what is a so home location register is something that uh, that puts the value i mean it uh, it, it has the actual uh, position of the particular subscriber if the subscriber is in its own cell then its value will be stored in the home location register so what will msc do is it will interrogate uh, with the hlr so after the interrogation i mean here the uh, msc is interrogating to the hlr so what will hlr do so hlr will say that i am in the home of b subscriber and i know where he or she is right now that is in which vlr so hlr and vlr are the two database as we have already seen so hlr and vlr will be uh, having the values of the data that is the uh, where actually the subscriber is say for example a subscriber is in its own uh, cell then it is called that the subscriber is in its home location so its data will be placed in the hlr now if a user is not in his own is in in his own cell then his data will be placed inside the vlr that is the visitors location register so here what does hlr do is that it says that it knows where the subscriber b is that is it is aware about the vlr to contact so it tells this VL, vlr that uh, give me a visitors address of this subscriber that is the roaming number of the visitor b so hlr will be asking from the vlr the roaming number of the location of the uh, subscriber b okay moving further the hlr would be contacting to the msc now what does this msc do kindly note that this msc is the another msc of the subscriber b so now we are going to the other network so what does this msc do okay so the hosting msc or the vlr returns this the temporarily assigned visitor or roaming address for the b subscriber to the hlr now because b is not in its home location so its temporary assigned location or temporary assigned address or roaming address is uh the this msc will be returning this its uh, address that is the temporary address to the h back to the hlr after the value of sub, uh, ho, uh, visitor location of subscriber b the msc will be passing its value to the hlr now again what does the hlr do here is it says the thanks for the visitors address of subscriber b and it will send its address to the msc that has requested for it as you already know that the msc has requested for the visitors location address of visitor b so it will be uh, it has got the visitors address so it will it's just thanking and is, that is acknowledging and then it will pass the value to the further msc so again the value from hlr will be sent to the msc here what does msc do is it will be acknowledging the hlr that is thank you hlr and speech connection path will be set up now towards the msc or the uh, msc or, or the vlr where the b subscriber is presently located so the further step is that we have to establish the path further so again the msc will be contacting to this other msc and now what does it do is it set up a speech connection towards the bsc it delivers the b subscribers id to the bsc and asks to page for the subscriber using that id so again the value from the msc will uh, this uh, the the data from the msc will be further proceed uh, further propagated to the bsc now what does this bsc do here now bsc us uh, now sends a paging message to all the bts that it covers now as we already know that each bts is under some bsc so now this bsc will send the paging message to all the bts it carries the paging response from the called ms back to the msc it allocates a radio channel through a bts with the best available and allowable signal strength for the called ms so now the subscriber that has been called that is b in our case uh, a radio channel will be established from that bts with a signal strength that can be allowable and then it performs speech coding when this call is established so further this is how the whole uh, thing takes place that is uh, from a to b how the actually how actually the whole thing works 
okay i'll explain you the whole thing in detail kindly look at these uh, things so fr from a the call is established to bsc bsc will be checking to which uh, uh, subscriber do we want to call and after the call is established the decoding will take place from bsc the call is further pro proceeded to the msc msc will be checking a's number b's number and whether the subscriber has a prepaid so again it will be passed to the prepaid services where it will check whether the subscriber a has a sufficient amount left on his account and if the and whenever the call is actually going on it has to decrement the amount accordingly after that the value after that the data will be sent to the msa now msa will be finding the b, uh, subscriber b it will interrogate to the hlr what does hlr do here is it says that it knows where uh, the subscriber b is that is what is the uh, visitor location register of the uh, b and it tells the vlr to give the visitors address of that subscriber so what does further happen is that it moves to the msc now hosting at msc or the vlr will return the temporary assigned visitor or roaming address for the b subscriber back to the hlr so that data will further be sent to the hlr here now what does hlr do is it will be acknowledging the user for the data so further that data will be sent to the msc now again the msc will be uh, will be acknowledging to the hlr for the data and it will be establishing a speech connection path between the two subscribers that is a and b now what does further happen is now the msc of the subscriber b what does it do that it will be set up in the speech connection towards the bsc and it will deliver the b subscriber id to the bsc now the bsc that handles all the btss of that area will now send a paging message to all the btss and it carries the paging response from the called ms back to the msc allocates a radio channel and uh, that that has an allowable st uh, signal strength for the calling and it performs speech coding when the gen call is established and so uh, finally the call is the call is established and the user a and user b can talk here so this is all about the gsm call setup if you have any queries you can ask until then keep learning